I decided to do that was probably in 2007. And then I sold the idea to Canal Plus. Everything I read uh, from uh, the really legitimate journalists uh, on Afghanistan like, was underscoring uh, the, 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 the money issue and the, the corruption issue. And uh, I couldn't see that on TV. I mean, every, every story on Afghanistan was the same story on TV. It was, you know, people being embedded with uh, uh, troops and uh, lots of dust and sometimes some uh, shooting. But, uh, and you could understand much, you know, why would the Taliban be strong again? What were people's expectations when you arrived in Afghanistan as far as the international aids were concerned? For example, the people in the schools would, uh, would be uh, that uh, the international aid would build schools. Uh, it's true, for me it was a real shock. I wasn't expecting that, you know. I was, I was expecting that there wouldn't be as many schools as, uh, as they, they claimed they had built but I was not expecting to find none at all in Kabul. An Afghan writer, Atik Haimi, he said that you take the 18 billion US dollars that were given away uh, to an apparatus that is not efficient and you give every month $50 to each family uh, as kind of salary and you end up poverty in Afghanistan and, uh, and, and you, cut, uh, uh, you cut off a lot of uh, Taliban propaganda and uh, you know even doing that would have been more efficient than what is going on now in, in Afghanistan. Who do you think was more responsible uh, in the failures of the international aids? The, the Afghan government, the international community or the NGOs? A lot the Afghans I must say you know the, 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 the movie shows the film shows that uh, the Afghans are responsible for a lot of the corruption that is going on. Uh, the Westerners are also responsible. Some of them are also corrupt, use the money. A, there was a lot of cash going on in, in, in Afghanistan. So it's very tempting for any human being to know that there are suitcases of cash, uh, of cash going uh, here and there. Uh, and the way it was organized, I mean, they, they didn't give money to the right people. They had so many intermediaries that the money was, uh, was used in the, uh, in the chain of, 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 uh, of donors. What were the main difficulties in filming in Afghanistan? In Kabul, it's all right. You can work. I mean, the suburbs are not safe. There's always the possibility of a car bomb. Uh, the access to different communities, like I had to have two uh, fixers. One was Pashtun, the other one was Tajik. Um, that's, that's the subtlety of, of Afghanistan. If you stay with only one fixer, you'll only see one side of the story. So it's important to change fixers. And after, you know, you have to be careful when you have meetings with people you don't really trust. Uh, but, but Kabul is not dangerous. Getting out of Kabul is very dangerous. But I, I you know, I didn't go much out of Kabul. Uh, Kabul.